A few days ago, Tesla made a very interesting and unique confirmation about the use of its cobalt-free LFP batteries. And the information gives us an interesting insight into Tesla's mix of models, which is generally quite opaque. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. So Tesla confirmed that nearly half of all of its vehicles produced last quarter are already using cobalt free iron phosphate LFP batteries. This is very important information because cobalt free is good for Tesla. Cobalt is a rare metal. The information also gives us an interesting insight into Tesla's mix of models, which is generally quite opaque. Over the last few years, CEO Elon Musk has said multiple times that Tesla plans to shift more electric cars to LFP batteries in order to overcome nickel and cobalt supply concerns. Iron phosphate LFP batteries, which don't use nickel or cobalt, are traditionally cheaper and safer, but they offer less energy density, which means less efficient and shorter range for electric vehicle. However, they have improved enough recently that it now makes sense to use cobalt-free batteries in lower end and shorter range vehicles. It also frees up the production of battery cells with other more energy dense chemistries to produce more longer range vehicles. Tesla already moved its standard range Model 3 and Model Y produced in China to LFP batteries. Did you know guys about that? So last year, Tesla also announced it is shifting to lithium iron phosphate LFP battery chemistry globally for standard range vehicles. It confirmed that the automaker planned to switch the Model 3 standard range, also known as Model 3 Rare Wheel Drive, being produced in the Fremont factory to LFP sales too. Now, with the release of Tesla's quarter one 2022 financial results, Tesla confirmed that nearly half of all its vehicles produced are now using LFP batteries. Here is a quote from that range, uh, from that uh, uh, release, friends. Diversification of battery chemistries is critical for long-term capacity growth. To better optimize our products for their various use cases and expand our supply base, this is why nearly half of Tesla vehicles produced in quarter one were equipped with a lithium iron phosphate LFP battery containing no nickel or cobalt. Currently, LFP batteries are used in most of our standard range vehicle products, as well as commercial energy storage applications. As a result of our energy efficient motors, a Model 3 with an LFP battery pack can still achieve a 267 mile EPA range. End of the quote. This would mean that roughly half of Tesla's volume comes from Model 3 rear wheel drive, the cheapest Tesla vehicle and the Model Y standard range, which is only offered in China, thinks uh, Electric in its report. Drew Baglino, Tesla's SVP of engineering, was asked how quickly can Tesla switch chemistry to LFP. Here's what Baglino said. I'll take the LFP question. Like it says so in our letter, but half of our products were LFP last quarter, which shows how quickly we were able to respond. But honestly, it wasn't because of a raw material shortage. It just seemed like the right thing to do. We could change our cathode chemistry and there is more to be done on the cathode side and we we're actively pursuing it to give us substantiation flexibility in response to market conditions between the other cathodes that are out there that can be competitive in our vehicle. There are many options. The engineering, and, and that was the end of the quote, the engineering executive didn't go into details about those other options. But Elon Musk recently said that Tesla is working on a new manganese-based cathode battery, which friends I have already reported and you can find some details about that. So half of the vertically integrated Tesla cells are uh, 
possibly coming from cattle which is a uh, chinese company but i don't know so which shows that everything tesla does regarding sales is not that big a deal currently they are buying half their sales from third parties or nearly 100 percent if you count panasonic like everybody else so what do you think friends about all of this let me know your thoughts in the comment section below this is armin haryan from torquenews.com let's continue the discussion below and please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news I'll see you soon in our next report. See what I have for you next. Tesla is growing faster than any large cap company in history. Actually, Tesla is growing faster than the five largest companies in the world. And it's not even close. Let's look at some of the statistics around Tesla and why it is once in a generation company. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here first time, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Jeremy Johnson from Torque News Tesla team has a very interesting coverage on how Tesla is growing faster than any large cap company in history. Jeremy says there is a data showing that Tesla is growing faster faster than any company in history. The world has never seen anything like Tesla and the growth is going to keep happening. There is no company that has done what Tesla has since IPO. Let's go over this and what makes Tesla so unique and fast growing. In an unusual turn of events, mainstream media Bloomberg has something actually positive to say about Tesla in writing an article in defense of Elon Musk's managerial excellence. This is the world's best corporate manager and there is a picture of Elon Musk with a hat and raised hands in the air. This Bloomberg article goes on to say, by the way, I will have the link of Bloomberg article in the description of this video, friends. So this Bloomberg article goes on to say, for all the historians from the 2018 tweet considering taking Tesla private, for which he incurred a 20 million fine from the US Securities and Exchange Commission to smoking weed during a podcast and his latest foray offering to buy Twitter Incorporation for about 43 billion Elon Musk is a pretty good business manager. In fact, I personally do not approve smoking weed. Stay away from drugs, friends. It's not good. It's not good for your children. Anyway, so in fact, the chief executive officer of the world's most valuable automaker has no equal, the publisher says. There is never a dull moment with Elon Musk. It's as if he is constantly seeking ways to better the world by making chess piece like moves with his companies and now with other companies. The article went on to say that Tesla is number one in growing, number one in growing among the largest 10 publicly traded companies, increasing more than 260 times to $53.8 billion company and sales soaring 71% in the last 12 months. Tesla is a leader and will be for a while. Tesla's revenue is increasing at a rapid pace, far faster than the world's five largest companies, Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, and Amazon. It's a good thing Tesla is doing what it is doing because the world is being affected by climate change, partly by overuse of fossil fuels, and this makes Tesla the vehicle of choice for fleet operators because of minimal fuel and maintenance costs. Bloomberg mentions that that's a big reason why Giga Texas sales growth will be number one next year at 30% and again in 2024 at 18%. Bloomberg also goes on to say that among the six companies with at least $1 trillion market capitalization, none reached a $1 trillion as fast as Tesla, which did it in 11 years. For context, it took Apple 38 years. It took Microsoft 33 years to reach $1 trillion capitalization. It took Alphabet, which, which is Google, 16 years, and Amazon 23 years to reach $1 trillion market cap. Facebook was in this list, but fell back to $600 billion market cap recently. The market says 
that Tesla is about four times as valuable as the second largest car maker, Toyota, and worth about 57% of the 10 biggest together combined. If you look at this in a different way, Tesla is about $41 uh, of the total value of 184 publicly traded vehicle companies worldwide. That is an impressive statistic. Tesla has a vertical integration strategy that has been critical, says Cathy Wood, founder of ARK Invest. I agree with this because Tesla controls so many of its supplies and manufacturing, says John Johnson, uh, Jeremy Johnson from Torque News uh, reporting Tesla team, and says Tesla can control its cars very quickly with changes without having to work with a third party. It makes Tesla very nimble and fast, whereas other automakers are very slow to change and make improvements. Remember, actually, remember Tesla is very agile and makes changes at super speed. Friends, Tesla's revenue, uh, uh, $43.8 billion in 2021, accounts for about 20% of all electric vehicles sold worldwide. This is an impressive statistic because electric vehicles are growing very fast, yet Tesla is maintaining uh, their share. Will Tesla maintain its rapid growth over the next decades? What do you think about this? Will any other company catch up? If yes, when? Please leave your comments below, share the report with friends and tweet it out. I would greatly appreciate it. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel. Help us reach our goal of 100,000 subscribers, please. And give us thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Looking forward to, our, uh, to be with you in our next report. God bless you. Peace be with all of you.